I've just been dismantling the pump for my Graco Finish Pro 395 and I thought I'd show you the bits in case you were thinking of doing the same. This is the pump. I found this manual online. I didn't have it with my uh, piece of kit, but this is the manual number. Downloaded a PDF. Usual warnings about skin injection and pressure and everything. And uh, more warnings about pressure. Obviously, you depressurize it before you take it out. And then we got to removing the thing, as explained there. And then the first thing I did was take this bit off the top, which when that came off, um, that was revealed. You can see I'm a novice. So that is the pump bit that moves up and down. These are these are throat seals, some plastic, some leather. Now this has had a really good clean. I, I, it's a shame I didn't show you all the photos before. These are the other throat seals, which all stack together and end up sealing around this shaft, which will be inside there. So they sort of seal around it at that kind of point there. Now these I haven't yet cleaned and you can see all the crud that gathers in them. That one I've cleaned. These lock together. Let's see. Yeah, so they lock together something like that. So you've got a mixture of plastic and leather. And then that's showing, that's showing this bit, which due to a very scary warning, I've decided not to take apart. The warning was here. Do not clean or wipe the piston valve threads. So that would be the bit here that reveals the ball. So I've not undone that because of this warning saying that if you accidentally strip the special sealing patch, it could be very dangerous. So because I think I've identified the problem, which was um, crap that was gathered in here, which I have mostly cleaned out, but I'm gonna just scratch away at that some more. But there was a little chunk of something just there next to the ball, which I've cleared. And I'm pretty confident that this tube down to it is also clear. I think I've fixed the problem that was making the pump not work and not push paint through. In the past, I've had a problem with this ball seal down here. Again, forgive me, I'm clearly a novice. I'm sure I'm not using the right terminology. But uh, we have previously found quite a sizable chunk of paint just in there, which was stopping this ball sealing as it should. So that's, I believe that's called the foot seal. That's the lower seal, which is easier to get at. This is the first time that I've got to all this gubbins up here, which in fact goes that way. And so that, that ball needs to be able to move and seal. Oh, indigo. Um, in order to let the paint go through there and then seal it when it's repressurizing. So I hope that's interesting because I think if I had seen a video like this, I would have been a little bit less apprehensive taking this thing apart. Um, and my advice would just be, well, seek proper advice if you've got any doubts. I have, I have sought some advice on this from High Tech Spray, who sold me the piece of equipment. Um, originally, I thought the problem was this. This filter down here is so is so clogged; it's really only sucking through the bottom. And I thought that might be sealing, sort of suctioning on the bottom of the paint can. But uh, I was advised, even if just one of those was open. The, uh, the force and the suction is such that it would find its way through. I am, however, going to get a replacement of that because it can't do any harm. So I think you can see I'm particularly playing this video, but I'm hopeful this is, this is still helpful for you. These are just a few more shots of the innards of things. See, well, I found a lot of this sort of stuff that I'm going to have another go at scraping off some more. Um, yeah, so, because it, it can't do any good. I mean, this, these kind of bits, as these detach, these are what can then clog it and stop it working. So I figure it's worth, it's worth giving it all a really good scrub. I mean, I've even taken almost all the paint that was, that was covering this off, um, because it may as well be clean.
this as well. I had little rims of crud around it, which were preventing that sealing on it's this side, a little, little rubbery plastic o-ring down there. That's where that goes. One day I'll start planning these videos, but something's better than nothing, isn't it? You see that goes in there. That's how that goes. That attaches to that. That goes in there. And you see how tight that is. That will need locking in, so that will seal at the bottom. As I said before, those will go in and seal that around the top as that moves up and down, releasing paint here. And that goes into that. Okay, I think you get the idea. You can always look up this, this manual and um, ask someone who knows what they're talking about for advice. Um, I, I recommend high-tech high -tech spray in Manchester. Thank you for watching.